Hello guys, Dave and Alex here, and thank you for joining us on another video. Today we have a real treat. Today we're going to take a look at the Hasbro Black Series Hyper Real figures. We have Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. take a look at today super excited um i actually got darth vader darth vader is already unboxed and i actually got him for christmas last year and more recently we picked up luke skywalker at ollie's bargain outlet uh, for a really good price so we went on and got luke skywalker to go with darth vader to make this awesome combo in the hyper real figures now just a quick overview just in case you're not familiar with the hyper real line uh, they were uh hasbro's like um, more detailed, highly realistic figures, and they're about eight inch scale. So um, they they did these two. Um, I think Vader did sell pretty good, but Luke, I don't think he sold very well, and they haven't done any since. So I'm assuming the line is dead, but I, I mean we don't know for sure because they just never really said e either way. So um, I would think that if they did these a little bit bigger, maybe ten inch scale. I think they probably would have been more successful because this scale is a little bit too close to the black, the regular six inch black, black series scale. So I think that if they went a little, little bit bigger on these, maybe they would have been more successful and it would have been like a bargain, you know, hot toys or sideshow collectibles uh, figure. So these figures feature a uh, metal skeleton over a, with a rubber like type, um, body like cast it over this metal skeleton with the uh and it has all this articulation so we're going to check them both out and give you a closer look so let's get started we're gonna we've already got vader out so we're going to get uh, luke out next and get him set up next to vader so before we go ahead and open it uh you can uh kind of open it here and you can kind of see what is there. <clears throat> there is a, uh, it's like Velcro, and you can open it. You can see his accessories, and you can see the figure in there itself. I gotta say, that, uh, that, um, image right there looks kind of disturbing. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know if that looks like Mark Hamill or not, but just wanted to point that out. Yeah, it seems like he has some, uh, bug eyes going on there, so... I'm not sure what's going on there, yeah. So uh, multiple hands, just kind of like a like a Hot Toys or some of these other more expensive brands. Uh, multiple hands, multiple accessories, um, and it also includes a base. So uh, really cool. Um, I just think Luke Skywalker should have been, uh, he should have just had the smooth rubber and then he should have had a soft goods outfit over top of the figure. They have him molded in the rubber there, or his out his Bespin fatigues are molded rubber, and I just don't think at that price point that these figures go to, or the the regular price point, I don't think that that went over too well. I think it should have been a nice cut soft goods fatigues, and I think Luke Skywalker would have been a lot would have went over a lot better. All right, so we're going to get the figure out now and take a closer look. Okay, we have Luke out of the box, and um, he, he looks pretty cool. I mean, uh, I'm still, I just can't get over the rubber, the rubberized fatigues and on his body. I mean, it's just molded over that, you know, metal endoskeleton. 
Um, and uh, but his belt and everything is separate. That is plastic. Uh, but even his boots is that rubber rubberized um, stuff that's on on his endoskeleton. Uh, articulation is great on these. You know they they have so many points of articulation. Uh, so many accessories, all these interchangeable hands. Um, the lightsaber and the lightsaber hilt is super detailed. I mean, it's way above what we get in the six-inch scale. Uh, the head sculpt, I think, is pretty good. Now, the the box, the pictures on the box don't do it justice. I mean, that the pictures on the box look horrible. But once you get the figure out and you look at it, yeah, yeah you can see Mark Hamill from Empire Strikes Back in it. I mean, it looks pretty good. And here is the, uh, I don't quite understand the additional head get it to focus here because it's pretty much the same almost the same head sculpt except for the hairs sculpted a little different i don't understand maybe that's supposed to be dagobah and then the one that's on the figure is is uh bespin that's the only thing i can think because i mean the face sculpt is that is pretty much the same but the hair is a little bit different so um yeah, it's just kind of weird you think that they would have, uh, they're going to do an additional head that he would have had a different expression on his face, like maybe when he was like saying no or something after uh, Vader does the uh, Luke, I'm your father reveal. But um, so pretty cool figure, Alex. What do you think? I think this figure is pretty nice. Uh, I really don't like the rubber. Uh, in fact, his. Entire body is rubber except for the belt, uh, the hands, and the head. The boots are rubber, which is really weird as well. <clears throat> but I guess that is kind of a good thing because you can articulate the feet however you want. And I, I really just don't like how it's rubber at all, really, because although it does look realistic in, like, a way... Like, when you look at it, it, it looks like soft goods, like the way that it's, like, wrinkling. It would be way better if it actually was soft goods. It would be way better looking at it, just just looking at it. It would be way better feeling of it, because it feels really weird. You think you're going to feel like fabric, and you end up feeling like squishy rubber. Yeah, it does feel really weird. I think his accessories are pretty... Uh, eh, I guess. He does come with a bunch of hands, and... A bunch of them look really similar, so I guess there's, there, there's like uh, fist hands. There's like a bunch of open hands. There's like tons of these open hands. Uh, don't really know what you'd need like five open hands for, uh, but I think his accessories are kind of like uh, I don't. I, I think he needed more accessories. He definitely me needed something else than this for a swappable head. Like, what even is this Hasbro? Like, it, this this is not not good. Over overall, though, I think this figure is pretty nice. Uh, the accessories are not, uh, and I think this figure would look good, especially next to Darth Vader. You can see there the the rubber. You can see there when you do articulation how the rubber manipulates and changes. I mean, it is pretty cool, but um, I, I would much. I think this figure would have been much more successful if it had some nice fitted uh, soft goods on it. Um, and there's reports of the the this rubber deteriorating over time. Um, we'll just have to wait and see on that. I've seen pit, people pit, post pictures in between the legs here, and um, I could see where that could rip. But I mean. You're not really supposed to, I mean, I don't see what what poses you would be in where you have his legs spread all the way apart. I mean, uh, Luke pretty much just stands, or if you do that lightsaber pose, one leg will be spread out pretty far. But um, um, we'll just have to wait and see if this rubber actually deteriorates like some of the people have reported on the internet. I really like the belt and how it's detailed. All the buttons have paint apps and everything, and um, the holster fits in. I mean, the gun fits in the holster very nicely, and it has a, a you know a leather look to it. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Vader here, and um, here is his accessories. He comes with multiple hands and this force blast effect that I guess maybe he's deflecting a blast or something that you can attach to. I guess one of the hands, maybe I don't know. 
But um, yeah, multiple hands there for different. Uh, he's got a pointing finger hand, several fist hands, some like forced grab hands, and all kinds of stuff. So really cool. And here is the force blast effect um, that you can attach to him. Like if he's, I guess you can put him on there. Like if he's blocking a blast or something. So this is molded plastic, and it looks pretty cool. You can see there his hand is on the back. There's a hand imprint on the back there. So one of the hands actually fits into that. So uh, I don't know if that camera is going to be picking that up or not. But um, so pretty cool effect. I haven't seen this this particular effect before. So pretty cool. Now overall, I think uh, Darth Vader is a much better figure than Luke. Uh, his the rubber parts on his body actually fit with his outfit because his outfit is kind of a, like a rubber or, or a you know a pla blast plastic or something, and then of course he has his armor and his helmet and uh, uh, very nice soft goods here too. So uh, really cool soft goods cape. His inner robes are soft goods. So overall, a Vader is a much better, or he presents much better in this hyper real. Uh, figure and just a real quick comparison of scale here is Luke Skywalker next to Darth Vader and as you can see Darth Vader towers over Luke Skywalker which is which is nicely done because uh, you know Darth Vader is supposed to be a lot taller than and more menacing than Luke and, uh, and in this scale they have replicated that nicely so here we have the six inch scale black series, the regular black series, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker in comparison to the hyper reel in the background. So you can see the, the difference in the figures there. Now, uh, this Luke here is, he's got his legs spread out for a lightsaber pose. So he's, he's actually going to stand a little taller there, but, uh, um, but yeah, you can see the difference in the scale. And I believe these would have been, like I said in the beginning of the video, these would have went over, the Hyper Reel would have went over a little better if they were a little bigger, I think. Maybe a 10 inch scale. And they would have, if they could have kept that same price point, maybe they could have, you know, marketed these as a bargain hot toys or something. So, I mean, because the details are there, then they're nicely detailed. The accessories are there, then nice accessories, plenty of accessories, but, um, and I mean, I just think that the Luke just should should have had soft goods. I think this line. I mean, if they did some more of these figures, if uh, they did a Mandalorian, Boba Fett, a Stormtrooper, I think those would sell really well. So I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that this line is dead. But it would have been nice to have seen those figures in this line, especially you know, uh, yeah, like Mandalorian and Boba Fett. You know, those would have sold really well. But um, I guess they just gave up on this line. Alex, what's your final thoughts? Yeah, I think so too. Uh, it would have been cool to see like a Boba Fett or a Mandalorian. Would have been cool to see like a Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. And uh, he comes with like... He would come with like blast effects, like flamethrower effects. That would look really nice. And the paint applications would be really cool on him as well. Uh, especially if we got a Mandalorian uh, with Beskar armor and it had like a vac metalized armor, even though we know Hasbro would never do that. But that would be pretty cool if they did that. Maybe they could bring this line back, maybe with like HasLab or something like that. Maybe do like a project, kind of like Hot Toys, where it's like a. Uh, a figure, a premium figure, where it has like tons and tons of accessories and stuff like that. I just wish this line would continue, and if it did, I think we'd have some really cool figures. Uh, obviously, they, they wouldn't like keep on going and going and on and on with it, like Black Series, because uh, these figures are bigger and some people just don't have the space for them, and they're all more expensive and stuff like that. So they wouldn't go on and on like they do Black Series and Vintage Collection, but it would be cool to see some more figures like the Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, Han Solo, stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. Alright guys, thank you for joining this video, and I hope you enjoyed our look at the hyper-real figures from Hasbro. 
Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you think about these hyper real figures and if you found them at Ollie's for real cheap. Alex, take us out. May the force be with you. Always.